Hey. That's how we're doing. Yeah. Hey. Welcome to Tipsy Whiskey Shenanigans. I'm Steven. I'm Alec. And today we figure out if 1915 is better than 1910 and 1920. So on today's episode, we're doing a, something a little different, but something that we're pretty sure is going to be a good time worth checking out. So on the right, you have the bottle of 1910 Old Forester. On the left, you have the bottle of 1920 Old Forester. The two combined produces the magical and such a great name, 1915 Old Forester. And we're going to check it out. Yeah. So, so basically 1915, it's a 50-50 blend of these two bottles and we're trying to figure out which one's better you know is it worth it to make 1915 or should you just stick with 1910 and 1920 like right. you know old forester does on a on a okay smells like bourbon it does indeed getting some like corny notes a little appley caramel vanillas cherries yep cherries and oak a little bit of chocolate a little bit of coffee. Looks like a maple. Right. Smells a little proofy. Kind of. Or maybe it's just because this is our first glass of the day. So, yeah. I mean, I haven't even tasted it yet. So, no, but hopefully it hits. But yeah. Oh, this is good. I don't think we're going to be disappointed with any of these, though. Like, if I'm being just, honest, I, I love both of these bottles and I can't imagine. I don't know if it's going to be better, but I can't imagine it's really going to be like worse. Right. Well, I'm just hoping that if these two mix together so that sweet. well, they are like significantly noticeable. Cause that's the only so reason. Syrupy. Yeah. So syrupy. So syrupy. Maple. Yeah, I don't, I don't think there's gonna, I don't know, it's, we'll figure it out. I don't know what to think about this. Oh, that's so good. Nice and sweet. Yeah. Very cherry, very cherry. Yeah. And very vanilla cherry. A lot less proofier on the palate. A lot thinner -er -er than I was expecting. Thinner, er, thinner, er, er, because er, er. the nose I was getting some ethanol, so I was like, "Oh, that's proof," mm -hmm. but like, not super proofy. But oh my god, it's like, it's like rich, like syrupy, yeah, uh, cherries. Yeah, that was the main things I cherry, got. Cherry, vanilla, oak. Cherry, I got cherry, maple, Sorry, and sweetness. vanilla. Actually, yeah, Ooh, that's good. Steven falls in love every time he has the bottle. A little bit of oak. Not too aggressive though. No. Maybe a little bit of nuts, bananas. Mm, I'm still sticking with mainly cherry and vanilla, but I can see maybe a tiny bit bananas. of banana. Bananas. Maybe that. I mean, I'm probably gonna get bananas on all these because I always get bananas on these. I think you have bananas somewhere in the back of your head. Maybe lingering, broken. All right, all right. on to B. On to B. Okay, this one's darker. Yeah, off the bat, a lot more oak. Yeah, getting a lot more like darker, kind of like coffee, espresso, toffee flavors. Yeah. Burnt marshmallow, maybe? I don't know about burnt marshmallow. Like a, like a super toasted marshmallow, because like there's that like fake artificial sweetness smell, but like it, sound, it smells kind of like super duper dark, like someone like roasted the crap out of the marshmallow. Okay, maybe. Beautiful. <sighs> Definitely getting bananas on the nose. I do, I see bananas for sure on this one. <sighs> cherries, cherries, bananas. Yeah, yeah, a little more coffee I'd say on this one too. This one's also sticking out. Oh yeah, a lot more proof on that. Um, okay. Cherries. Bananas, like a creamy cherry banana. Also more coffee on the, the palate too. Yeah. Espresso, cherry, banana, oak. Yeah. A little bit of vanilla. Actually a lot of bit of vanilla. Caramel, vanilla caramel. Um, oh my God, that's good. A lot less like syrupy. Mm -hmm. Like it's still, I think it's more rich than A, but it's a lot less kind of uh, syrupy, it's more like kind of darker, kind of like, um, 
espresso toffee flavors than like maple syrup. I gotcha. Yeah, I can agree with that. I'd say, um, yeah, like I said, a lot more rich, a lot more bolder, and uh, it definitely kind of has that darker kind of, you know, like coffee. I got a little bit of chocolate, and um, the banana stuck out more to me on this one, which was you know, a little surprising actually, but uh, good, good like uh, contradiction there with the flavors, I'd say. Yeah, yeah, I got a lot more. I got chocolate on the second time when you said chocolate. Chocolate. Honestly? Honestly. Ooh. Caramel bananas, dude. Yeah. All I can think about is caramel bananas. Like caramel drizzle, chocolate covered caramel drizzle bananas. Yeah, I get that for sure. So much banana, like yeah, there's cherries in it, but the cherries taking a back seat and the bananas coming out at you. Yeah. Not a lot of oak though. No, but I am getting a little bit more maple again. Yeah. Yeah, it's a lot, it's a lot more like where where we like those... lost kind of that like maple caramel syrup, mm -hmm. this is starting to bring it back. Not in the intensity that I was getting at A, but it's right. bringing it back. Yeah. However, I do find it uh, interesting that yeah, there's not like it. I don't think there is any of the distinctive flavor flavors from the first two, but it's like their background. Oh, that's so good. <sighs> oh, that's like. So much banana, like banana bread, caramel banana bread. A little bit of nut, a little, little bit nut. of oak, a little bit of cherries, but it's so so, some chocolate. so much like maple syrup, banana, and there's like this like bready characteristic. I kind of get what you're saying there. The the main flavor, caramel banana, mm -hmm. followed by I would say like a chocolate and coffee, and then a little bit of nut. Nuts. I would say like the oak and the nut take like a back seat though. Right. Like they kind of just they fill in the finish. I yeah. Guess. Like the main the main flavor is like this caramel vanilla, mm -hmm. this like fruity like cherry banana, mostly banana, and then um, I would say like this like weird nutty bread kind yeah. of thing, and a little bit of chocolate. Yeah, a lot of flavors. A lot of like a lot of moving parts on this yeah. one. Ooh, that's good. Yeah. Well, we're going to do a little bit of our own AB and uh, try to figure out which one really does do the best justice. Wait, uh, okay. So, Florida. Yeah, it's been a while since I did that. Oh, that makes me so upset every time. For the final <laughs> reveal, uh, number one is going to be what, whatever's in glass C. A was my next choice. B was kind of my last place of the bunch. That being said, uh, none of these were bad. Oh, no. I liked all of these. We got A, good old 1920, B, 1915, and C is 1920, which no surprise there, uh, kind of A, 1920, was a little bit lighter, sweeter, marshmallow -er, or um, kind of, just overall kind of sweeter, easier going, um, really rich in the sweetness. Um, 1915 was kind of like a battle between both worlds, which no surprise, cause it was a 50-50 right. blend of them. Mm -hmm. um, which by the way, this is our first time ever trying 1915. I've heard a lot about it. So um, didn't really love love it compared to the hype. If I'm being honest, like I was, right. I was it wasn't, it wasn't insane. Like I wasn't blown away by it. Like I would compare it to maybe like their uh, Bottled and Bond one, kind okay. of that hundred proof in between. It, it felt similarly to that, given I'd have to have it side by side to know more. Okay. But um, C, 1920, obviously the good old uh, killer, you know, having the really bold, amazing flavors. So I guess with that background knowledge, I think we can both agree it's not worth it. Yeah, it's honestly like I'd rather just have 1920 all day. Unless if I'm feeling something kind of desserty and sweet, then 1910. There you go. Yeah. But that's yeah. a wrap for us yeah. on this Here video. We... Let us know what you thought about this. Please do us a favor, like, comment, subscribe. Yeah, check out the Instagram and the Facebook and we'll try to keep it coming. Give us some ideas if you have any, okay? Yeah. Cheers, y'all. We'll see you later.